King Jehu, God's chosen avenger. Jehu was anointed as the king of Israel by a prophet named Elisha. He was chosen to fulfill an important task, to execute God's judgment upon the wicked house of Ahab, the former king of Israel. King Jehu's reign began during a time of great political turmoil, as the kingdom was being threatened by the powerful Assyrian Empire. Along with the external threats, the nation was also deeply divided due to the influence of Jezebel, the wife of King Ahab, who had brought idolatry and wickedness into Israel. Jehu wasted no time in fulfilling his mission. He first targeted King Joram, the son of Ahab and Jezebel, who was ruling at that time. Jehu confronted Joram near the city of Jezreel and killed him, thus eliminating the last direct descendant of Ahab's dynasty. Next, Jehu went after Jezebel, who held a significant position of power and influence in the land. Jezebel attempted to maintain her authority by painting her face and wearing royal garments on an upper balcony. However, Jehu commanded her eunuchs to throw her down, and she died as she fell. Jehu then ordered that her body be left to be eaten by dogs, fulfilling the prophecy of Elijah. After dealing with the ruling family, Jehu proceeded to destroy all the remaining members of the house of Ahab. He invited the leaders of the nation, along with the prophets and servants of Baal, to a grand sacrificial feast. While the people were gathered, Jehu secretly ordered his men to kill everyone inside the temple of Baal. As a result, he completely wiped out the worshippers of Baal and destroyed the temple. Jehu's zeal for the Lord continued, as he turned his attention to defeating the remaining supporters of Ahab. He launched a military campaign to eliminate all those who had allied with the former king and to eradicate idolatry from the land. In this campaign, Jehu slew the relatives of Ahaziah, the king of Judah, as they were sympathetic to the wicked ways of Ahab. Overall, King Jehu was known for his fierce determination to rid Israel of the corruption brought about by the house of Ahab. However, despite his initial enthusiasm for the Lord, Jehu did not fully follow God's instructions and allowed idolatry to persist within his own reign. Consequently, the Lord promised that Jehu's dynasty on the throne would only last for four generations. In the end, King Jehu's reign came to an end after a reign of 28 years. He was succeeded by his son Jehoahaz, who continued the cycle of idolatry and wickedness, leading to the ultimate downfall of the northern kingdom of Israel.